Hello and uh, welcome back. In this uh, lab, we will be starting with uh, our CTC for bulk load. In order to do that, uh, we need a sequence container. We, we need a two sequence containers. One for the bulk load. We will re rename it bulk load. What this uh, will do, this will only copy the source to destination and uh, this one will be in e mental load ctc and this will only uh, work when there is an increment or there is a change in the data. So in order to do that uh, we will get the data flow and this data flow task will be in the bulk load and uh, in the if we double click it this will be a simple copy from source to destination so in our case adio.net source double click here and new and we have connection and our table will be this source will be SQL task okay and the other component will be our destination that will be connected to our source source will be connected to this that will be database is same SQL tasks nest and mappings mappings all good and that's it go back to the control flow so for the bulk load uh, one thing to remember is uh, we need to track the changes like how much at to what level our data is loaded uh, inside these changes should be tracked by SSIS uh, okay, we agree that uh, SQL is uh, tracking our changes inside the SQL, but how the SSIS will know or, or our package will know that to what level I have synced up. So in order to do that, we need to uh, find a way uh, where we can uh, store our start and finish of the data, like uh, how much is uh, loaded. So in order to do that, we will so we will drag the CDC control task and we will name it bulk load start and one other for the finish also. And bulk load. Let me. And this double click OK, mark the initial load start. Yes, this is our operation. Now, this should be stored inside some variable OK, CTC state variable is created. Click OK, and uh, uh, how much? Uh, what are the uh, like syncing how much syncing is happened that should uh, it will store inside a database and it's creating a table uh, with the DBO CDC states name and uh, okay and okay this is done for the initial start now at the end it will track the changes so in order to do that we will connect the component so double click on the component and we will mark the initial load end and uh, the variable will be same that will be same and okay so this is done for the initial load like for the first time if we are loading this stuff now for the incremental load so now we will run our application Mm 
We received the error and uh, we resolve it. Now let me stop it and uh, run it again. We are receiving the same error for SQL DTS manage assembly is not found. Let so this error is uh, due to is fixed inside a uh, cumulative uh, update package of sql server 2022 so we are going to download it and uh, once it's downloaded we will install it and uh, hopefully this error will be resolved i will continue after installing this okay Hopefully, our error will be resolved. Let's start. And it's done. So, now stop the package. Go into our SQL server. Look at the table or destination table and top 100 rows. And yes, our whole records will be inserted here. So, but uh, before moving on to, okay, that, uh, that will be for the next video. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.